Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and welcome back. In the last part, we worked on the sidebar a bit more. I just did some styling. If you missed that, please watch that if you're interested in the CSS. If you're not interested in CSS, don't worry about it. And, ow, in this part, we're going to uh, add in a comment box, a comment system. Uh, we're going to add in a comment form, and then we're going to list the comments, right? And I, I believe... I'm about to blow your mind if you don't know how WordPress comments work. Okay, so below the game description, I'm going to open up some PHP tags, and I'm going to say comment form, and I'm going to close that, and I'm going to save that, come in and refresh. So now it says you're logged in as Austin, if you're logged in as me, and it has a logout button. It has the HTML tags you can use, it has a field here you can type in stuff, type in your comment. Now, if you're not signed in, I want to show you what it looks like. This is all default styles. You can change this, of course. But if you're not signed in, if we were to go here and say, Howdy Austin, log out, and refresh from this page, you see now we have this field to type in my name, email, and website, and then the comment and post, right? So I can't make a whole part out of just doing that, of course. So we have to do a bit more work. Um, but I do want to show you what happens here when I post something. I'll say, hi, this is a comment. And I click post, that nothing happens. So we have to figure out how we're going to uh, list these styles, right? Or, or list these comments and make it work for us. If we look on, again, another plug here, awfulmedia.com slash demo, awfulmedia version two. We go to one that has some comments. If any of these do, yeah, this one. And you'll see the comments. I'm using the Jetpack from automatic which are the people that made wordpress wordpress.com and you'll see that this really a reply thing now, this is all within an iframe when I right click you can tell uh, reload frame frame source all that stuff so you can't necessarily style this stuff from your CSS because it has the CSS from its source but when I click on that field if I'm not signed in you'll see email name website and you can sign in with your Twitter your Facebook and your wordpress.com account so right off the bat, huge bonus points, right? Just from installing this plugin. To use this plugin, you have to have a WordPress.com account. That is the only requirement. It is completely free, and it comes with like 20 other awesome plugins built in, right? Just all wrapped up in one big old plugin. Be sure to check that out. It is just awesome. And why is this pushed over so far? <sighs> what did I do? This whole thing's pushed over. I'll have to figure that out later. But, um... And you see below that, the train is back already. It was like 20 minutes ago he came through here. <laughs> anyway, below that we have the comments listed, right? And they are threaded. You can reply. When I click reply, it brings a form below that comment. How cool is that, right? Just so simple to do. So if we wanted to, we could take my comment system and use that on the game site if we wanted to. But it's pretty much just some styles uh, and in the... WordPress list here. This is all default for the Jetpack comments. So we could do that if we wanted to, but since we're in a local host, uh, using the Jetpack comments won't be as easy and it's not necessary for the tutorial at all. So I'm going to just not do that, but I highly suggest you use them or Discuss or uh, LiveFire or Facebook comments. All those you can just install through the WordPress dashboard. So since we're not going to be using those, we're going to work on styling this a bit. Now we could hide this, which I think I will because it looks disgusting and it's not necessary for a game website to have people know how to use HTML uh, tags and stuff. So we'll remove these completely. If we go to WordPress comment uh, list, no, comment form and we look at the stuff here that we can define. Where we have some arguments we can set. And wh whatever you're doing in WordPress, make sure you check out the codex. I cannot say this enough. They have everything. Everything you need to know for each little thing is here. It might be kind of intimidating because there's a lot of stuff. But make sure you use it, okay? And what was I looking for? I completely forgot what I was looking for. We want to 
See, this is the default for the comment notes after the form, right? It's the, it's showing you may use blah, 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 blah. But we don't want that. So what we can do is we can say, we can set this up as an argument in, in an argument variable if we wanted to, or we could just set it directly in there. I am lost. What am I doing? Um, inside of this, to we'll pass an argument variable, say args. Just for an example, we'll actually just take the default example and we'll work that into ours a bit. No reason to do all this from scratch when you have all this nice information uh, inside the codex itself. It is there for us to use, and don't think that using it means you don't know what you're doing, okay? It just makes your life a bit easier when you can copy some stuff directly from the source. I'll get it right here in a second, I promise. <laughs> okay, now we'll backspace that. So we have label submit. We can, we can change the button value to submit comment or whatever. Title reply. We can change the reply title. No, <laughs> that's pretty much how it is. Uh, let's see, post a comment. And we can say comment note. Yes, he's already got it for us. Again, easy, right? So now it's not going to show the HTML tags after the form. And we can change the uh, classes and stuff and the tags and stuff for our comment field itself. But I think for our use, we will actually use the default. At least for now. That could change. Hit Control S. Go back here and refresh. I'll have to pass that into here, though. Make sure you're passing your variable into the uh, the comment form itself. We can remove these and put this inside the same PHP tags. Now refresh and you'll see everything's changed. Post a comment, no more HTML stuff. But you'll notice that the tags or, or the labels are just wherever they want to be and it just doesn't look very good. So we'll have to fix that. Uh, we'll do some CSS. We're not going to use tables. If you're used to using tables, stop. Just stop. Do not use tables for layout structuring. It is not the 1990s. Please stop. All right, so thank you for watching. This time we got the comment form started, right? Uh, we're going to, next time we're going to work on the styling a bit, and then we're going to list the comments wherever we want to, above or below, and uh, work on that styling a bit too. And then, who knows? I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. We will have to... Uh, work on archive pages so that we can archive for the tags, the categories, the like when I go up here and go to games, go to action, that'll go to that tag page and list all the games with that tag. See these tags right here. And you click on that, it'll go tag equals adventure. We'll we'll make this into uh your the pretty links for WordPress, the the pretty URLs, because those are ugly and people can't really understand what they're looking at. I don't want to use that. You know, it's, This is for people, not for computers. So next time we'll work on some stuff. Oh, see that? <laughs> okay. And I want to show you something, though. If we were to try to resize this, you see that it'll be, it'll be responsive as far down as the game can go. But then it... Boom. And I've been saying it from the beginning. It's not going to work with flash files unless your flash file is amazing, right? But the website itself is responsive, just not the flash file. And that's, you know, whatever. Not a real website. Anyway, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Awful Media. Check out the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Awful Media. Check out my website. Not a lot going on over there because I'm working on a new website or a new version of the website. You can check out awfulmedia.com slash demo slash Awful Media dash version dash two slash. Check that out, right? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.